Halo MCC Season 7 Titled Elite is finally here, so let's go ahead and just jump into all the content. So if you played in the flight, you would have seen a lot of this content that is coming in Season 7. But the first thing we're getting is the quote unquote new Halo 3 map, Edge, which was in the flights back in Season 6 and then it was reflighted in Season 7. They finally got it to a point where they think it's ready for public consumption and so Edge has been added. Not only is Edge available in custom games like Waterfall was last season, but both Edge and Waterfall are now available in social matchmaking for Halo 3. We also got a ton of new cosmetic content. There's new Halo CE vehicle skins. There's a bunch of new Halo 3 Elite armors that come from Halo Online. New Halo 3 energy swords. There's new Halo 3 tech suits. Halo 4 weapon skins, Halo 4 armors that not only include the Mark 7 from Halo Infinite, but also armors from the Halo 4 Champions bundle that was not previously available in the Master Chief collection. And then we also got more nameplates, both static and animated. On the cosmetic front, there is three seasonal challenges, and these are titled Elite Swordplay, Nightcrawler, and Pixel Perfect. First one is going to unlock one of the new Halo 3 Energy Sword skins. This one's kind of a white color. To do this, you're going to have to do two challenges, Nice Slice, which is to earn 343 points with an energy sword. If you play on campaign, Heroic or Harder, kills are worth one kill. And then if you play in multiplayer, Spartan kills are worth 10. The other challenge to finish this one is Keep Killer, which is to kill 500 high-ranking elites in campaign or Spartan Ops on normal or harder. The next combination challenge is titled Nightcrawler, and that includes the Bedtime and Caesar dressings. So you're going to have to complete 7 night missions in campaign on Heroic or Harder, and then get 343 assassination kills. If you do this in campaign, it has to be on Heroic or Harder. That one's going to give you the Tinted Smoke tech suit for Halo 3. Lastly, there's the Pixel Perfect, which is a combination of the Brain Burst and Quattro King challenges. So you're going to have to earn 500 headshots in matchmaking games, and then you're also going to have to win 15 ranked matchmaking games in Halo 4. This will get you the Pixel Battle Rifle skin, obviously, for Halo 4. We're also seeing the return of the Custom Browser, which is going to be live just for Halo Reach, unfortunately. And they've made some improvements based on feedback when they tested it out a few weeks or a month back. Overall, I'll highlight them on the screen here. I would say the improvements are more on the smaller side, but it is nice to see that they made some improvements before bringing it back. Hopefully we continue to see more improvements for the custom game browser and also hopefully we see the other games pretty soon. Let me know in the comments what game you want to see next for the custom game browser, assuming they do the rest of them one game at a time. We talked about this in a previous video, but Firefight Matchmaking is now just a part of the social matchmaking screen, so that allows various different things. Now you can queue Halo 3 ODST and Halo Reach Firefight at the same time. You don't have to go to a separate menu anymore and it kind of gives you a little bit more flexibility and options when you're trying to decide what form of firefight you want to search because obviously you can search multiple at the same time now this should in theory allow not only variety in what you play in firefight but also reduce queue times as obviously you can now queue multiple playlists at once this next one is from the flight but there's been a lot of improvements for halo ce on the graphics front a ton of graphical updates have been made to make halo ce and mcc better mirror the classic OG Xbox experience. So there's a big list here and I won't go through them all, but from a lot of the feedback that I saw during the flight is that this does a pretty good job of really improving the graphics of Halo Combat Evolved and it just makes it a more cool and more authentic experience. There's also some changes to Halo Combat Evolved Hardcore, where now weapon ready effects only play for local players, dropped weapons have disabled collision and material sounds, they've disabled footstep sounds, and the kill feed messages only display if they're related to a local player or their teammates. These tests for the Hardcore playlists were all back in the flight. Honestly, I don't play enough Halo CE Hardcore to give you my opinion on these, but I'm going to assume that these were something that the community was asking for. Next up, there is some various updates to the extra menu where now terminals and cinematics from Halo CE, Halo 2, Halo 4, and H2A all directly play within the game instead of linking to external sources, which is kind of cool. There's also a slew of bug fixes like there always is in these patches, so that's nice to see. And last but not least, what in my opinion is the absolute biggest part of this update is the Halo Combat Evolve mod tools and client support. This is absolutely huge for the future of MCC. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not a modder. I've never actually modded the Halo games. I just download some of the mods and play them because I find them fun. But what I've gathered from talking to different people and kind of reading some posts that I saw in different modding discords is that these mod tools are really, really good. Hopefully this really empowers the modding community to get back into Combat Evolved and make some absolutely sick mods and just bring some new light to MCC. I cannot wait to see what comes out of this and 
I'm really excited because CE through Custom Edition has always had some of the coolest and craziest mods. So if we start to see some of that stuff in MCC, sure you still have to replace existing maps, which is kind of a bummer. But as we start to see some of those crazy mods and those really cool overhauls, it's just really exciting. I cannot wait. Even though it's not necessarily referenced in some of the promotional material for Season 7, to me this is by far the biggest update and biggest part of Season 7. And it gives me hope. They talked about it in a recent stream, but they want to bring mod tools to all the games. I cannot wait until we have this level of mod support for all the games in MCC. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. If you want to catch me live, follow me over on Twitch. You can also follow me over on Twitter or Instagram. I'll be streaming Season 7 stuff live tomorrow night. So yeah, check that out. And with that said, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>